folks, yet another name that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have requested and I believe are going to be interviewing for their offensive coordinator position is Minnesota Vikings wide receivers coach Keenan McCardell. And Evan, is it confirmed that he is going to be interviewing right now or is it just a request at this point? Uh, I do believe it's an interview. Um, I, I, I do believe I do believe it's a, it is an interview. All right, so right now as it stands, look, Keenan McCardell is actually a name that a lot of Bucks fans should be familiar with. He won a Super Bowl with the team, for goodness sakes, all the way back in 2002. He was as a, a player, as a player. As a player, important <laughs> to note there, as a player, he was a wide receiver for many, many years in the league from 1991 all the way to 2007. He has been a coach in the league since 2007, most recently with the Minnesota Vikings in 2021 to the current day. Before that, he was with the Jaguars in the same role. He's never been anything else besides a wide receivers coach, Evan. That's an important thing to make a note of here, in my opinion. He's worked with some great wide receivers in the past, but I want to take a look at these past two years because... Man, oh man, I mean, uh, the the production we've seen from the Vikings receivers, right? Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, KJ Osborne. Uh, I don't believe Stephon Diggs was there in 2020. No, he was not there in 2021. Um, but point being is that Keenan McCardell has worked, you know, some really great wide receivers over there in Minnesota. And could he be attributed to some of that success? And what are your thoughts on McCardell and how he has done as a coach so far? And a little bit of his history with the Buccaneers. Yeah, well, I think he could be, um, you know, attributed to, to some of that, you know, success. Um, obviously, Kevin Kevin O'Con uh, Kevin O'Connell's offense helps a lot, but um, yeah, I mean, him being the wide receivers coach, I think definitely definitely helps. Um, the risk, you know, the risk though is obvious to me. Um, he, just like you said, he's never been an offensive coordinator. So uh, you'd be taking a risk on a first time play caller, which, you know, isn't a bad thing. Like, it's not a bad thing. Some of the, the hottest candidates out there right now, some of the names that you're hearing would be first time play callers, uh, you know, for other teams. Um, so it's not like you have to have offensive coordinator experience, but it is a risk because this is a, a, role that Todd Bowles and Jason Light both have to get, you know, correct and they both have to nail it. So um they they had Byron Leftwich who was a previous player uh, who was not really used to calling plays. And we all saw how that ended for Leftwich. So it would be interesting to see if McCardo was the choice. It would be interesting to see how he would be able to adjust to that. Um, he also, but I mean, the Bucs aren't the only team to have shown interest in him. Uh, the New England Patriots also uh, interviewed him for their offensive coordinator job. Obviously, he lost out on that job to uh, Bill O'Brien. But um, yeah, I mean, it seems that he has interest around the league. So it's, it's not just in Tampa Bay. So uh, it would be interesting to see uh, if you if he was uh, able to land a job, what what that offense would look like with a first year play caller. Yeah, you know, and it's so interesting, too, because I think you look at the inexperience as, you know, a big, you know, a big coach, right? Uh, in, in, you know, circles, he's only been ever been a wide receivers coach, which, you know, again, to be fair, he's worked with some great wide receivers and he's got a lot of great production out of them. If he were to become offensive coordinator, would the Buccaneers go to continue to do a pass heavy offense and really work their wide receivers? That would be something that would, uh, you know, definitely be looked at and, and be a legitimate possibility. The Bucks have some really good wide receivers, so, uh, they could see continuity with that. If Keenan McCardell were to be hired, um, you got something on your mind? Yeah, and also it would be a move that would be approved by I think most of the fan base. Um, just because whenever you know, Byron Leftwich was one thing. He was a former player, but he wasn't a very good player. You know, Keenan McCardell came in and won a Super Bowl with the Bucks. So yeah. um I think he's seen in a lot more positive light. And I think people would be like, Wow, Keenan McCardell, that's cool. So I think obviously you're not gonna judge your decision and base your decision or just on that, but um I do think that would be an added bonus. He's a two time Super Bowl champion, actually. So um, there you go with that two time pro bowler as well. So, you know, man, yeah, but, but that is a legitimate concern is the guy's never had offensive coordinator experience. He's 53 years old at this point, you know? So, I mean, he's not some young guy, you know, who, you know, and I'm not to say that he can't be innovative, but we don't know yet, you know, at 53 years old, you know, who knows, but he does have that big benefit going for him that he's worked with, you know, Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, some of those Minnesota Vikings wide receivers 
very recently has been able to put out some pretty amazing work. Um, and he stayed on the coaching staff after Kevin O'Connell got uh, hired, which I think was is pretty interesting as well. So that just kind of speaks to his ability as a wide receivers coach. Uh, is he ready to make that leap? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see if the Buccaneers give him a chance. But as you said, hey, former player, former Super Bowl champion with the team as well. That would just be a, a feel-good story, you know what I mean? Uh, but the, we will see, you know, as there are some legitimate questions there. But folks, let us know your thoughts and opinions about Keenan McCardell and his chance to uh, be the offensive coordinator for this team. Do you want to see it? Do you not want to see it? Let us know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, again, go check out Evan's stuff at BucksNation.com and at the Cannon Fire podcast. He is the co-host of that and the main host of the Real to Real podcast, which I am on as well. So folks, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.